watching the weather develop all day long, and the nasty stuff isn't going to be here for a while, but no. it isn't that pleasant out there right now. No, we have yeah. low clouds. We've got mm -hmm. a few showers, temperatures in the 50s. You both pointed out the app. Now would be a good time that we've got a few hours yeah. before we think the severe weather will hit to charge those phones yeah. and the tablets. Um, keep Facebook up, too, because mm -hmm. we may do a few Facebook Lives to get you through this evening when Absolutely. and if those storms start to develop. And you mentioned that after 8 is probably a good time to be in your home. I would. If you've got a few things you want to take care of and you don't want to deal with yeah. severe weather, do it in the next couple of hours yeah. because after 8 o'clock is when we think that threat for severe weather will start to increase across central Indiana. We have a few showers in place. You can see those live from our camera. It is 56 degrees in Indiana. Annapolis now winds are southeast at 11 miles per hour. Chuck updated this early and often today when we got new information from the Storm Prediction Center and now a good part of central Indiana under that moderate risk for severe storms from the SPC on their scale of one to five. Most of us at a four. We will monitor this situation closely. Northwestern part of the state already under a tornado watch that includes Benton County in our area until 11 o'clock tonight. These tornado watches cover all of Illinois. Illinois through Missouri into Arkansas and we're starting to see a few warnings associated with these individual storm cells. A couple of tornado warnings, several severe thunderstorm warnings and it's these individual cells that will start to race our way over the next few hours and that's our concern with perhaps some rotating thunderstorms as they move into an environment that will be favorable for thunderstorm activity and perhaps some tornadic development. Future Track 13 hour by hour timeline shows us pretty quiet the next couple of hours. Anytime after 8 p.m. we're going to be tracking those thunderstorms developing out to our west and southwest crossing the state line. When you join us later tonight for the night beat at 11 o'clock we expect more thunderstorm activity to be developing again ahead of the main line of storms. That main line of storms will be forming shortly after midnight. We could be tracking a couple of complexes of storms, those individual storms, and then the line of thunderstorm activity that will impact the Wednesday morning drive. This takes us into the early part of Wednesday. It is going to be a stormy start. These thunderstorms have the potential to produce damaging winds, large hail, and a few tornadoes. We will watch this hour by hour for you, get you through tonight and first thing tomorrow morning. First thing tomorrow morning, it's going to be stormy through probably 8 or 9 a.m. We've got that severe threat timeline from 8 o'clock tonight through 8 a.m. on Wednesday. 56 by noon tomorrow as the majority of the storms move out. It's going to be a breezy day and this time tomorrow temperatures will start to take that tumble. Sean alluded to a few snowflakes after that threat for severe weather tonight and tomorrow morning. Maybe a few snow showers this time tomorrow or late tomorrow night as temperatures fall into the low 30s. 49 on Thursday. A little rain snow mix possible late Thursday. A few flurries early Friday and then we warm it right back up early part of uh, the weekend. 58 on Saturday, 64 on Sunday. We'll have another update for you shortly.